Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. 26 million people in lockdown after thousands of asymptomatic cases detected in Shanghai by David Stanway April 6, 2022, 3.59 p.m. Save login, register or subscribe to save articles for later. Share normal text size larger text size very large text size for view all comments Shanghai. China has reported 20,472 new daily COVID-19 cases for Tuesday, driven by surging infections in Shanghai where authorities have extended a lockdown to cover all of the financial center's 26 million people, despite growing anger over quarantine rules. The numbers include only 268 symptomatic daily COVID-19 cases, which the Chinese government prefers to quote. The current outbreak in China has already surpassed the number of infections found in the early days of the pandemic, before testing was easily available, and encompasses a much broader swath of the nation. While President Xi Jinping is committed to getting the outbreak under control, his request to limit economic consequences is getting harder to do as the wildly transmissible Omicron variant continues to spread despite intense efforts to stop it. Workers in PPE unload groceries to distribute to residents under lockdown in Shanghai on Tuesday credit. China to AP the number of cases continues to rise in Shanghai and Jilin, a northeastern province that has been locked down since mid-March, showing the difficulty of halting the spread of Omicron once it has deeply penetrated a population. There were 311 local infections and 16,766 asymptomatic cases reported in Shanghai on Tuesday, and another 973 infections and 1,798 asymptomatic cases in Jilin, according to the National Health Commission. In a major test of the country's zero-tolerance strategy to eliminate the virus, the government widened the lockdown to eastern parts of Shanghai and extended until further notice restrictions in western districts, which had been due to expire on Tuesday. The broader lockdown came after testing picked up the asymptomatic case surge. Both Shanghai and Jilin areas are struggling with the economic and personal ramifications of the lockdowns, with food shortages, a lack of medical care and shuttered manufacturing plants bringing misery to residents. People with mild and symptomatic cases of COVID-19 quarantine at the Shanghai New International Expo Center in Shanghai Credit, Xinhua AP as a growing number of people shared comments and videos across social media expressing frustration with the blanket rules, authorities showed no sign of wavering. Shanghai's epidemic prevention and control is at the most difficult and most critical stage, Wu Qianu, an official with the Municipal Health Commission, told a briefing. We must adhere to the general policy of dynamic clearance without hesitation, without wavering. Empty roads during covered lockdown in Shanghai on Tuesday credit. Bloomberg Shanghai's quarantine policy has been criticized for separating children from parents and putting asymptomatic cases among those with symptoms. Wu did not comment on the uproar over family separations. She has insisted that children who tested positive had to be kept apart. But following the public uproar, a top Shanghai Health Commission inspector on Wednesday said parents would be allowed to stay with children infected with COVID-19. The official said parents who fully comprehend the health risks and signed an agreement would be permitted to accompany their children in monitoring facilities. However, the parents must wear masks, eat separately, avoid sharing personal items and strictly follow all aspects of the management system. Wuganai told reporters. One temporary treatment center opened a 1,000-bed section for treating parents and children, the Shanghai Children Medical Center said on its social media account. Shanghai residents has organized an online petition calling for asymptomatic children to be allowed to isolate at home, with at least 1,000 people signing. The city has set up about 47,700 beds in a number of newly built temporary hospitals in Shanghai, with another 30,000 being readied, state news agency Xinhua reported, citing Guy Hongyi, deputy secretary general of the municipal government. The National Exhibition and Convention Center, a 1.2 million square space in Shanghai known for hosting international auto shows and other massive events, is being converted to house more than 40,000 people.
A total of 62 temporary quarantine sites have been designated in hotels, stadiums and exhibition centers, Guy said. Thousands of residents have been locked up in rudimentary quarantine facilities after testing positive, whether they are symptomatic or not. Chen Erzen, a doctor in charge of one Shanghai quarantine facility, said in an interview with the Communist Party newspaper The People's Daily at the weekend that it was possible that authorities would revise guidelines and allow asymptomatic people to stay home, especially if the number of cases mounted. The